Hey bowling super fans, this is Emil Williams Jr. from the ITRC and in this week's episode of the Core Challenge, we learn what exactly goes into a world-class Team USA assessment led by Rod Ross and the contestants learn some hard truths about their individual games. Last week we met Deanna and Wes, the two core subscribers who won an opportunity of a lifetime, a chance to train right here at the ITRC with Team USA head coach Rod Ross and USBC gold coach and equipment expert Lou Marquez. Both players went through a pre-interview which was vital to understand both players' strengths and weaknesses. Now let's head out to the lanes where Wes and Deanna will soon find out that the ITRC approaches may be a little bit different than what they're used to at home. go home we'll be slipping all over the place. I can't slide. I'm not going to be able to slide. It's grabbing it doesn't slide smoothly. No, it's just like it just sticks. Do you want to take your shoe off and I'll run into the pro shop and clean off that heel for a little bit? Someone bring some beer and spill it on the approach up here just so I feel like I'm at home. We're going to spend the day today kind of getting information, data of the releases and the repeatability, launch angles and such, and then we're going to take that information, try to apply it to their game and really kind of fine tune them and get them all tuned up for the big match. Don't change where you're standing, don't change where you're looking, just try to throw 10 shots and just try to repeat the shots. First, I just kind of want to look at overall motion, so I'm just going to kind of keep looping it back and forth to see if it looks like it's consistent, smooth, or if there's any kind of sudden jerking or popping. And you can see there's a little bit right at the very end. You can see that the tempo looks good, and then there's a boom right there at the very, very end. I really like the ball placement that you have it. It's kind of close to underneath your chin. First step is pretty good. You're a little bit in line. It could actually go a little bit farther to the right. I don't see. Swing is in a good alignment. There it is. All right, so let me go to an angle and show you where I can see it. Step, we have a push away. All the cameras come together and you can just see what you're doing front to back and side. See how your right arm kind of goes back with the ball and then goes forward again later. Mm -hmm. One area that I think that we're going to want to try is try to keep that right arm here quiet, stay in that, that spot. Something I need to work on is allowing my shoulder to be relaxed and then my arm more in front of me. Overall timing looked really good. It was very consistent. Small issue we might be looking for in the footwork, but the major one we've seen is probably arm swing. So you have your push away, your take back, and the swing coming down through. So we're gonna zoom you up a little bit. All right there, there's where we kind of come in. And now I pushed out to the right. Mentally, I'm kind of swimming. I mean, I learned a lot. So I can't see the ball. This is a very good plus, but right there. That foot a lot of times will dictate where that push away is going to go out to the right. So now it's going to come out and it stays out to the side. Now, because of your alignment, I like to see that ball a little bit more in line with the head here. So as it drops down, now you're going to have to redirect it right there. See how it's kind of outside your shoulder? 
and it's going to make you want to have to take the ball that direction to your target. So if you lose it or miss it off your hand a little bit early, it's going to go to the right. Mm -hmm. If you catch it just at the perfect time window to the bottom, you're going to hit your target. And if you stick or hang up a little bit, it's going to go to the left. Initially, when we were talking, you had some issues with the knees, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just don't like to see the rotation. And right there, you're putting some pressure right on the knee. Now, if your slight foot stays in this zone right here, we're okay, but right there, we're getting some tension. Okay. So, not a liability now, but I want you to bowl into your 70s and 80s. You want to make sure that everything stays in a good alignment so we don't get any injuries. Things about my release, my approach, my finishing position. I mean, there was a lot of stuff to take in. Deanna West, welcome back. Okay, we just got through doing a three shot repeatability analysis and don't feel bad about it out there because they are designed for you to see your liabilities to amplify the inconsistencies because we want to make sure that we're working on the right thing, the thing that's going to help you get better quickly, not work on things that are only going to get you a little bit better. So you ready to see your results? Yes. All right, so we have short, medium, and long. So there's 10 feet difference between them. You got the short over here and the long on this one. Don't change anything, just try to repeat shots. So the first area I want to kind of look at is the consistency of the ball speeds. And we're very, very consistent, very consistent. Same thing, got a little slow here a little slow there. But basically we got a nice flat line going across. A hiccup right here. Yeah, <laughs> One hiccup. Looking overall, generally it doesn't look like you're going to have an issue with timing. Timing looks pretty strong on both of you guys. So the next thing I go down, I want to take a look at the patterns. Very, very tight, very tight, and very tight. So generally, don't think of reach. We see a real issue with footwork. Little wide here, we had one that just went out the window. Little wide here, and not as wide here. So, Wes, we're gonna have to look a little bit into your footwork. Something's a little bit off the footwork, see if we can't tighten it out. But on both of you, you can see that we're getting a little wide down lane. And same thing, guys, the outlier here and such. So it starts leading us to arm swing. We're probably going to have to look at arm swing. I want to kind of dig into the ranges that you did on your releases. So we have 100 here, 145 here, 29 here. Did you use the same ball on all three patterns? Yes. So on the short, your release was very consistent. So I'm going to guess that you like short. You like the, the ball motion you had on short? And when we got into medium and long, it was a little harder to be more consistent and get that ball off your hand. So when you spend some time later with Lou, we're gonna kinda of go into this a little bit to see what we can do to help get this kind of consistency on all the different patterns. Wes, we had 51, really good, 113, 128. I'm guessing you like the short pattern as well. Generally, players that are on patterns they're comfortable with, they relax their hand more, they're a little bit more consistent. When they get on patterns a little tougher, they're trying to manipulate something, try to make something work, grip pressure starts going up. And that's what we're seeing here. So we want to try to find some way on your fits to make you a little more consistent in that area. Now we've got to get more important details about how your ball functions on the lane. We're going to track your actual revolutions, and we're going to also measure your, your axis of tilt, which is the angle of how your track is actually orbiting on the lane, and the rotation angle. These are all important values that we need to kind of identify how you release the ball and then program all these numbers into the arsenal that you're going to receive this week. With day one of training camp in the books, we sat down with Wes and Deanna to find out what they learned and how they're holding up. Physically tired. Mentally and physically exhausted. 
It's more than what I'm used to lately. Today just felt really, um, I mean, it was fast paced. We were always working on something. I haven't done anything like this in a while. So I was just like taking in all the information. I need to focus on, again, being more thoughtful about a lot of things. Thoughtful about my steps, thoughtful about position and balance at the line, and thoughtful about hand and finger position at my release. They told me what was going on and they helped me improve it. So I'm hoping to take that information and use it tomorrow. It'll be interesting to come in tomorrow morning uh, after a night of sleep and kind of see how much um, mental memory controls or how much muscle memory controls. Next week on the Core Challenge, it's time to make some dust as Coach Lou heads to the ITRC Pro Shop, but will West Indiana leave with a new fit? That's the question, and you'll find out next Wednesday on Bowl TV.